this is how I get leads for my business entirely with Notion. So this right here, this is my sales pipeline and it's split into a few sections. We've got the active clients up here. We've got the weekly KPIs as well on here, just like the content planner. We have the actual pipeline right here. We have the performance tracker right here. And this is going to tell me how many prospects or leads I have in my pipeline dependent on their stage. So we have 14% of the leads in the prospecting phase, 57% in the contacting phase, 14% in the warm leads phase, 0% in the closing phase, 14% closed and 14% finished. So let's say this prospect visited my landing page. In my landing page, I have a form that they need to fill out in order to get in touch with me. And the way that works is by doing this. They need to first book a discovery call. And this form is going to prompt them with a few questions. So the first thing is, what is the name of their business? Let's say that the name of their business is The Boring Company. What niche, gadgets, website, The Boring Company dot com what is your current monthly revenue they are going to add their revenue on here are you currently running ads no what is your monthly recurring revenue let's say that these guys are making a hundred thousand dollars per month with a let's say a 60 percent margin that's pretty healthy let's click on continue and then which of the following do you believe is the reason why you can't scale your freelance business? Again, I target freelancers, so this is relevant to me. What goals would you like to achieve in your business? I would like to make $500,000 per month. And then what do you believe is the reason why you haven't been able to reach your goal? Let's say that right now they have demanding clients and they're too busy doing client work. So let's click on continue. What is your email address? Elon at theboringcompany.com. First and last name, Elon Musk. We click on next, and then we are going to select a day to schedule the discovery call. Let's say that I want to schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Click on next, schedule event. If we go back here to the pipeline, you will see that Elon Musk is right here with the boring company. He's a qualified lead. The meeting is tomorrow and the link to the Canada is right here. Now, the way the qualification system works is by setting parameters. And I personally have it set to where if the lead can afford more than $5,000 per month as a retainer, that is something that is taken into account inside of the qualification system, as well as a few of the questions they were prompted earlier. So in this case, Elon Musk, if we go here to the meeting notes and we open it up, we will see that they are too busy doing client work and they have demanding clients. And these constraints right here will also trigger the qualification system because it's telling me that these guys are too busy doing client work and they have demanding clients. So they can offload some of that work to me. And I know for a fact that they are in a desperate need of my services. So that for me is a green light. So they can afford $5,000 per month minimum they are too busy doing client work and they have demanding clients. Those are green lights and that is why they are a qualified lead. Otherwise, they would not be qualified just like these other um, examples we see here. And if we open this up, we will see that the estimated value of this business is $60,000 because that is how much they are doing in profit every single month. And I charge a 10% of whatever it is that they're making. And that is why the estimated retainer for me in my particular case is $6,000. Now, if we close this and we go here to the pipeline, we can actually change this to show us the actual value inside of the pipeline. And this will tell me that I am currently leaving $60,000 worth of business on the table. And I need to move this over to my active client portfolio as soon as possible. Which brings me to my next point, which is closing the client. Now let's go back to the performance pipeline and then let's change this from discovery call. Let's assume that we are in the closing call phase. So as you can see right now, the closing phase just changed to 12.5% because I have one lead inside of the closing phase. So inside of the closing call or via email, I will send them this form where it has the terms and agreements and they're going to open it up they are going to download the terms and agreement. Now this is a sample. This is not my actual terms and agreement. So they're gonna click on this button right here. They're going to download it and they're going to sign it. 
And once they sign it, they are going to upload it right here. And then once that is uploaded, they are going to click on this button that says continue to payment. And once they upload the contract, they're going to fill in their payment information. Now for the sake of this example, it's not going to actually charge me anything. So I can go ahead and click on this pay button and it's also going to trigger the actual thing. So look at what happens when I click on pay. It's going to prompt me with my Calendly again. And this is where they're going to schedule a kickoff meeting. So let's say that we are going to schedule a meeting for Friday at 1 p.m. We'll click on next schedule event. Let's open the pipeline right here. And as you can see, Elon Musk is now moved to the active clients phase. Now, if we open this up, we will see that right here, we have three tasks. We have the discovery call task, closing call task, and the onboard client task. And we can also reference these tasks inside of the actual task manager right here. So we've got meetings, we've got a discovery call right here. Let's click on complete and onboarding, we have another one. Now, if we click on this toggle right here, we will see all of the tasks associated to onboarding Elon Musk to my agency. This is my process to onboarding my clients. I don't have a huge laundry list of things I do when I onboard them. I try to keep it low, simple, and sweet. And as I start doing these things, I start checking them off one by one until I have completely checked everything off and that's about it. If you're not at all serious about scaling your business, then this system is probably not going to be a good fit for you. On the other hand, if you are serious and you're ready to focus on providing an excellent service to your clients and let a system like this handle everything else, I'll leave a link to it down in the description so you can add it to your workspace.